Hello and welcome, Cosmic Cosmic Quantum Travelers. Here we are again. Um, I was guided to record and share another update of what I see unfolding and completing in the field. Um, also because yesterday I didn't really finish on all the notes, so I wanted to share what I'm guided to share because it all helps us to go all the way back home which is really to the one true self, us remembering the oneness. And again, it's beyond the words we can convey because it has to be felt and it's obviously a journey of us getting there. But again, it's really how I see it. We get there all as one. We all, you know, have different parts um, to add to the puzzle, to resolve and really bring full coherence, reconciliation to the one cosmic mind that is redreaming itself Going back to the start, back to the beginning. The beginning is the end, and the end is the beginning of when we dreamt all of this up. Um, also, thank you for those who have signed up for the call already on the eclipse. Um, I feel the activation again. This is already in the field. So as soon as you sign up, you are receiving activations that are part of this. It's not just the call and the activation and also the three days after that are very potent. And really it's always beyond that. Um, because truly these activations are quantum and are very powerful. So it's not just again about just wanting to receive a high and um, having all the great feelings, although it's a big part of this as increasing the frequency in our own template and that of the planet and our own blueprint and activating it. And the plasma light body, which is a big theme right now to complete this planetary wide, as well as in our own field, as all of the distortions fully correct right now. Quantum style. Again, it's frequency alignment with you in full frequency alignment, with your fully already ascended diamond avatar self. Okay? Which is always timelessly available. Again, obviously there's more to it, but again, the forerunners who are holding this and again, are um, holding these source codes and divine blueprints on behalf of all in order to dissolve all of these false, false overlays and return these original divine blueprints plus upgrades. Again, we're all part of this. Um, but again, it's also very much about everyone remembering their role uh, and fulfilling their own destiny, being their own hero of their own journey, change their own storylines now, as you become the fully conscious co-creator that you are, fully reclaiming all of your realities, no longer blaming anything outside of you, and fully reclaiming your happiness as you no longer, you know, put up with any less than what you really truly deserve. Um, look back also on my last video if you haven't yet, which where I talk more about this. Um, so if you want to, you can still join me for the call on Saturday for the eclipse or watch the replay. It's always good if you can take part life the energies are already very potent i feel this is going like the next few days i mean it's it's already very intense today was very intense i found the 26th so and it's very likely to increase <laughs> the weather cost uh, the, the cosmic weather forecast <laughs> intensity <laughs> levels oh yeah and we just had a um we had an m class 1.5 i think must have been earth facing earth facing component we have KP4, coronal hole, uh, facing Earth, quite big. We have solar winds. The Schumann Resonance website is still offline. I think it's day free. Um, so yeah, one, one, one. Sushan Hatiaki. The party is well and truly on. Okay, so the cosmic reunion party of the one is ultimately completing all of this as we remember the real truth, the real disclosure that we have been dreaming up all of this as one so to say. And now as we fully heal the trauma, shift our perception of what even happened, which is what I'm trying to convey, to shift the consciousness and return us to real sanity, the real truth. And again, it's we all carry parts of this 
And it's for us to remember that we hold the power always. And once the blueprints are fully corrected, none of this is ever going to happen again because we don't need to re-experience this because all the lessons have been learned. So that's what we're accessing right now. That's what I see with this gateway, all new real realities. To, so the return to the real, which the call on Saturday is all about and also finishing you know, a completion or an extension or a part of also the last call from the last eclipse. Uh, so especially those that took part in both or taken part in both will feel huge shifts in their consciousness and field. Again, it's, you know, nobody can do this for you. I do know my work is very powerful. It also clears a lot because I had someone in my group contender saying that it's like three days of my activations. And yeah, that clears a lot. You might want to go easy on that. <laughs> so, you know, uh, I recommend it to take a break because you can overload your system with all of these codes and all of these clearings. Like they're very comprehensive. So, you know, Always tune in with your guidance in general. You know, is this right for you at this time? If you're already struggling and you don't want to overload your system, maybe you don't want to. Um, but I also included two other activations uh, in this. So the one from the last call, from the last eclipse. Um, but again, not the actual call replay, just the light language assisted activation. activation. Although again, everything I speak is ultimately an activation, as it is for us all. Um, but yeah, it's just our, you know, our auric field again, that ultimately yields me embodying, being in, in alignment with what I'm speaking about. And again, also just the role I'm here to play, you know, ultimately. So, um, you know, I kind of can't help myself doing this. So, but I will, if I do any more updates, you know, put more and more into the membership container just at this point also. So just to clarify, the membership tier one container for 77 euros and 70 cents a month is basically having weekly once or twice at the moment it's once because it's like it's turned into live calls so it's like cosmic energy updates but you can also ask me questions uh, comments you know interact with me but usually it's like this just kind of a little bit more expanded and more detailed and more keys and codes and navigational tips being shared um we don't usually do light language assisted activations in that group container. And then tier two is that plus my monthly, about three a month, uh, these open and live group calls and activations uh, for 144. So you get a lot though, you know, a lot of hours, so to say of all of the wisdom and gnosis I came here to reclaim and share with you. Uh, but also now more and more for and with the people who really appreciate what's being shared and they can see the value in that it is helping them to shift their perception of reality, help them realign their blueprints, aka consciousness, the belief systems through programming that's taking place and just, you know, even just the energetic support, um, you know, that my work offers as you're listening to, you know, what I'm sharing. So whenever I share, it's always, you know, again, and the intention to transmit the highest truth for and on behalf of Mother, Father, God, to help and assist us to go all the way home. Um, You know, so this is really what I am here for. And ultimately, we can't help ourselves as well as we need to, you know, um, share more and more again what I explained in my last video with people who were then also giving back to us. So our field doesn't feel depleted because we can feel it when there is too much kind of, you know, there's a lot that happens when people listen to these videos. Like I clear the field of the people listening. This is happening quantum style. I mean, besides all the work I'm kind of planetary wide and cosmically doing anyway and all the other stuff, you know, like the calls and the groups. So it's a lot for my energy field. And I do this for my heart to use because again, for the oneness. But then there also needs to come more back. Again, I addressed this in the last video because this is all about creating balance in the collective field. Of that, again, not a few carry the many, that it gets more and more balanced and we all support one another and start creating these communities. And ultimately they haven't worked so far because you know you need a con consciousness shift. The same with the awakening, which is here now, the great reveal. The great awakening, all that has been hidden is being revealed now, one way or another. 
I think you can see it, even me, who doesn't really know much about what's going on in kind of 3D terms out there in the world, on the world stage. Um, I can see the signs. <laughs> so there are loads of stories coming out, the truth, and it cannot be hidden. This is this is the truth tsunami. This is the love tsunami. And yeah, parts of it are being televised. But the real revolution is telepathic. It's a both end. So, you know, enjoy whatever you're seeing. You know, it's it's not about that you don't need to look at stuff. It's just like, what are you thinking? Are you feeding, you know, negative agendas, storylines and help the opposition create them? Or are you laughing at it, not taking it seriously and you're creating your own realities? You know, there's again, nothing to avoid, nothing to run away from, nothing to fight, judge. You just need to know it for what it is. That's you recoding reality. And not doing what they want you to do, which is getting scared and being put into fear and believing what you're reading. You know, if it's negative storylines, wherever they are, whether it's spiritual materials or uh, out there, because if they have you believe that it's going to happen, you keep, you know, again, creating those realities, helping it co-create. So again, your imagination is your superpower. So as you're fully ascended, diamond avatar self comes fully online. It's literally God dreaming through you, as well as you have your own mind. It's the both end. And your own God sovereign and free self, you become, you know, God consciousness embodied. You to be fully sovereign, not just, you know, following the voice of God, so to say, and our little slave here. Uh, we have done all this to merge the, you know, all blueprints with God's source consciousness. And for this to be available, the core blueprint uh, of the cosmic Christ for, you know, all tribes, all races. Uh, and that's what's coming online and it's happening through frequency alignment and all I see is the, and again this is the full purge of all the overlays inserts implants so you might feel it in your body some symptoms might come up a big theme is the red wave spectrum and the reptilian tail which is a lot to do with the mind control system um, has been running on loops and kind of fallen timelines um, it has to do with the way the Kundalini currents have been running and the misalignment in the Merkaba, it not being properly, you know, spinning the way it's supposed to be. So that's all being corrected. So again, often the forerunners go first and then it goes out into the field. So this is happening collectively. It's all being purged as the true divine blueprint has been fully reset. Everything else is being purged from the planetary cosmic body, literally. Back to source. It's a frequency purge. It's so a big thing today was um, the diamond white flame being fully returned where all of the other 12 rays, the original 12 rays of creation, also connected to the original twin flames, twin rays, founder races, tribes, um, fully realigning, fully corrected. So the original sound and light fields of creation where all of creation comes from. Um you know, before we turn into vapors and liquid and gas, we, you know, we are sound and light fields, you know, and then later crystalline and, you know, we have ended up in carbon, so to say, but that has been reversed. Also, what I said in my last video wrong was like, did I say age regression or something? I meant age reversal, so reversing age, I think you understood me and then also said something in the end right in the end the false matrix going online obviously i meant offline and then i was also because i hate when i say things wrong like use the opposite word or something like this or a wrong word but you know that's the perfectly imperfect i'm always being assured that the energy of what i'm trying to transmit it's there and i also know i speak very fast i do know i have an accent I should be practicing this more, but when I speak very slow, I feel very funny <laughs> because I try to pack so much in because there's always so much coming through because it's also energy and frequency I'm transmitting. This takes a lot out of me, making the notes literally all day long, preparing energetically, setting everything up, just the energy being transmitted. This is a whole kind of day's work, so to say, transmitting, you know, sharing these cosmic energy updates. Um, so anyway, so again, thank you everyone liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting, any and all donations. Thank you so much, um, truly for all your support. 
and uh, keep on believing and hanging in there. That's also because like this is all being purged, all demonic entities, beings, soulless beings, clones, like it's all mal malfunctioning out there, okay? So it's going to get crazy. Hold the line. You know, again, we don't know what happens next. We keep co-creating what happens next. So keep imagining beautiful, not catastrophic Armageddon type scenarios, okay? Whatever needs to happen will happen, but you get me. We can uh, always imagine the best. Use your imagination wisely. It's your greatest superpower, okay? Don't let, let other people program for you what you don't want to create. Align with, you know, that which you do want to see, you know, a lot to help you do that. Uh, keep opening your heart and yeah i meant to say something I can't remember now. so very high frequencies coming in for these like the original sound and light fields of creation fully returned the core cosmic monad basically fully returned at an energetic level um and the crown fully open uh a lot coming in here when i was early on you know tuning into the field doing energy work it was just like beams coming in doom doom to, to. Um, so it can be very intense just you know try to you know um, follow your guidance on how to look after yourself I always don't go much into those tips I know there's a lot of tips out there that other people share you know um, it's always kind of the same you know what I mean uh, I wish I had a bath to have a salt bath I really do miss that because the, the body, like there's been a lot of kind of body aches, like your plasma body fully activated and all of this stuff being purged fully can be quite intense on the body. Um, stretching is definitely a good idea. You know, yoga, nature, all of the salt baths or shower. Imagine like plasma light coming through, you know, and just healing all of your auric field, you know, your body, whatever you want to be healed. You know, get, get very creative. You are here to... You know, everybody can heal themselves. Um, and, you know, see yourself in a column of light. I work a lot with the opalescent diamond white plasma light. It has this rainbow shimmer to it. It's like liquid plasma light. It's fire water. It's also what the masculine and feminine are merging. And that's also what's fully correcting the masculine and feminine merge and divine hierogamic royal weddings and unions completing. Uh, it's also fully healing the violet ray and the distortions on the 70 layer levels. It's all interconnected. Also with the, again, the red wave spectrum, fully clearing and all the fallen timelines, realities, um, all these karmic cycles, all again, the distortions in our and the planetary light body field and cosmically so. Again, affecting all, this is massive, okay? Again, it's a reset of the cosmic consciousness and the blueprint of the cosmic Christ which holds the original core blueprint for all, all other races to rehabilitate themselves, which we are doing and have been doing quantum style because our past, present and future selves are all meeting in this now moment, which we keep correcting in this now moment. This is where there's only ever now. So our you know day-to-day -day challenges, whatever they may seem, they will be connected to other timelines. And as you correct them in the now moment, you correct what went wrong in the past. So you correct the future in the now moment. And you also correct, you know, you shift in the now moment, you shift also your present. And most of us will have seen, you know, a lot of shifts. And literally the only thing that's left is the physical, where we can see more of the stuff, all that we haven't been able to see. Because we can only see like less than, I think, 3% of the light spectrum. How is it less? Something around that. Um, and that which, you know, is hidden, Oh, and it has been invisible, will be made visible, all will be revealed through us also as we see through the layers, through the bullshit, the veils, the manipulations, the masks, all of that stuff. You know, as you see through the false matrix, it literally dissolves now. As it's just time, it's been fully energetically being cleared, quantum style. Uh, again, there is a lot being released as these demonic beings and all of this has been, you know, there's a lot going on for the final clearing. For most of us who are doing a lot of this work, it's almost automatic now. You're really in the zero point field of clearing all of this. It doesn't take as much effort anymore. You know, the heavy lifting is not felt, at least by me, but I feel there has been a lot of interference trying to get in because they're going crazy, obviously. Um, 
for the final removal. But just know what it is. Again, you're giving it meaning. You know, is it all getting worse or is it just getting revealed? And, you know, as you, you know, again, detox, you know, you don't feel so good for a day or two or whatever. This happens in all layers and levels. As all of the stuff clears, it comes up and out with everything we clear. The same with physical symptoms. As your physical symptoms or an illness comes up, you're already in a healing phase, ultimately. You know, so what's the perspective? Am I getting worse or am I getting better? Fear is the number one you know, uh, cause of any illness, disease. So not worrying, you know, whilst you take care of yourself is the number one, you know, recommendation I could give you. You need to fully connect like any remaining uh, survival fears, you know, around um, illness or death or, you know, not being able to pay the bills, like feeling secure, safe and protected and being fully at one with your eternal self, which is ultimately fearless. Again, it doesn't mean you don't have fears, but you can keep breaking through them because you keep remembering and keep aligning and merging with your eternal self. And that is fearless, boundless, limitless, timeless, and ultimately can't die and has never been born, you know, as well as we're fully merging our spirit body with our physical. <coughs> <coughs> so, like this is full ignition of our hearts the spark is about to be fully lit um everything is about to be fully lit that's all i can see and that's homecoming time <laughs> so our um, hearts are about to burst wide open and this is clearing all remaining invaders imposters healing the tribal shield as the tribes come fully together. Again, energetically, it's all here. The physical is always the last. We've been busy, especially the foreigners, merging our spirit body. Again, it's like a big walking experience. You're fully activated in multidimensional DNA. Again, certain people are also leaving. There are a lot of people leaving, but also, you know, again, it's a frequency thing. Um, and... You know, don't worry about anyone because, you know, even people closest to us, maybe whose body is not able to make this big quantum leap jump in frequency now and complete this, will, you know, choose a different body to complete, you know, to carry on with their journey of ascension, consciousness expansion, returning to the really real. Okay. So again, everything is being transformed. Nothing is lost here. We are the alchemists. We are the ones who transform <laughs> shit into gold. It's funny because I shared a meme in my group earlier on. It was about mushrooms um, and about if mushrooms can grow from shit, so can you. <laughs> so um, basically... That's what we do. Like, I've really trained myself. Like, if you think I'm not grateful, if I ever come across like this, I really trained myself to be grateful for go, going through deep clearings, which I most of the time do <laughs> because I do a lot of the transformational work. And I've really learned to be basically content with it as well as I'm, you know, part of that purging is bringing it up and out. And I keep being shown to make these videos every time it shifts the field. I know that all of my work is really powerful. Even if it doesn't, you know, reach thousands of people, it's the ones it reaches. They really, you know, they're highly coded usually. They really get it. And they make a big shift within the one consciousness. Because again, it's about the level of frequency we carry. And the highest level of frequency again is authenticity. It's not some false version of love and light. This is all about balance, restoring balance. And just being... Uh, all the time positive and happy and love and light is not really natural and you know this is not you having merged your god and human self so to say all of your multidimensional selves that has many aspects and you you should get slightly angry or push back if somebody really pisses all over your boundaries or whatever it may be you know what i mean if you suppress it that that is what i believe huge problem in the collective of why we're even here of people suppressing all of the stuff it's then turning into those shadow aspects that we project onto the wall of the hologram into demonic beings literally 
I've been shown this and I've shared this many times, you know, and they have then created a life of their own. It's the collective unconscious, the shadow body. And with the eternal cosmic spirit body, Russia, dark matter body, fully resetting, it's fully here now, fully merging with the physical, again, for the foreigners who are, you know, holding these blueprints also for the planet. Um, and cosmically so, it's um, clearing all of the shadow body and pain body distortions and alchemizing the, you know, false ego self. All of these aspects, again, I don't like to compartmentalize. It's like resetting really the, you know, original 144,000 archetypes of the Godhead and also merging meta, anti-meta as a new anti-meta where, you know, again, it's it's all now we can literally manifest out of thin air because meta and anti-meta are merged. That's also the masculine and feminine principles where you don't have a huge delay from your first manifest in the spiritual and then a you know a physical comes online. And you also need to see, depending on what role you have been playing throughout many lifetimes, how much you've been hunted down and tagged and targeted. And we've always had the greatest protection, but still, you know, a lot of black magic and all of that stuff. <laughs> Again, it has not been easy to manifest certain things for a reason. Also, because I know the whole challenge with me and, you know, finding a nice home for me and my daughter has also been all about, I mean, first of all, it's everything that's wrong with the world, you know, wrong with the Dublin housing market, <laughs> so to say. I was talking about this with someone today. You know, the, the corruption, Ireland is a very corrupt country and, you know, you, you anyway, yeah. It's, again, everything that's wrong with, you know, these systems because the people in charge are who make up the systems that work for them, the few, to make them richer and richer. And the others are the slaves and I don't even know about it and I think they are free. So anyway, that's not working anymore because the shift in consciousness is here now, okay? So anyway, the whole challenge with me in finding a home next to that's so expensive, the, the housing market very challenging, even getting a viewing right now, anyone getting back to me. I know, and it has been continuously been shown to me, it's because I'm bringing home new earth for everyone. You know, this is like when we would be all cushy and comfortable and everything like this in a comfortable, you know, what's it called? You know what I mean? It's like, would we really be working so hard for the liberation of all? It is a big part. You know, what we are here to reclaim for ourselves, we're here to reclaim for everyone. I've been shown this again and again. And again, we are doing this for the children. Nobody should not have a home. A lot of this is all, again, false reality. This is not real even, you know, and we're here to remember. And this is what the activation is going to be hugely about. And it's already in the field of us going back to before the invasions fully reclaiming those blueprints, the cosmic history records, on behalf of all, our original divine blueprints, the diamond white ankh body, the cosmic quantum tree of life, fully igniting this on behalf of all, new earth. Our plasma rainbow light body, our multidimensional DNA, and the Merkaba vehicle. So let's do this. And it's basically going back to the beginning before we fell in consciousness, so to say, before we've been dreaming all of this up. So that would be fun. And it's already is. So very potent energies. The sun is waking up. Um, yeah. The cha-cha-cha is here. Let's dance. Let's fly. Let's rise like the phoenix from the ashes that we came here to be. This is showtime. Be ready. You have to be just ready right now. Um, because we will we will be hmm, catapulted in, into fame. I'm just getting... <laughs> So this will be fun. I mean, I've been shown this many years ago. So I've never worried. I know we will be successful. It's just how much pain, how long do we need to go through all of this? So again, divine intervention is here. It's in the field, but we keep making it happen. We came to make the magic happen, as we believe, as we keep doing what we've been shown, like me doing my work and sharing what I do to bring us all the way home. And again, we all came here to play our role, very unique to us. You are here to remember what that is and fulfill your own hero's journey. I'm just here to remind you. And again, me following mine activates that in you. As you do this, you activate it in the people you connect with. This is the butterfly effect. This is how we keep making waves. 
in a quantum continuum. That's that's why I love what I do ultimately, as well as it's been just very, very exhausting. Just just the energetic work, just holding all of this, just the blueprint, just the field and the fields of the calls and activations. It's, it's a lot to it. It's not just one call and activation. It's the days leading up to it, the days after. It's so much that goes on around it. Um, you know, holding it in the highest purity and integrity uh, with everything that's going on and finalizing, finishing. But it's all part of it to get us there. And again, we're all just here to play our role. And it's, you know, those who really resonate with it, they get it. And they then also are willing to uh, make an investment and see the value in what's being offered and, you know, see that it really is assisting them on their ascension journey and accelerates it and makes it a little bit easier. But yeah, I can't do it for you. I can't take away the pain. I can't take away the challenges and um, spiritual initiations. But I can, you know, get you kind of help you get through it more quickly as I share my experiences, my wisdom, which takes it away that you need to go through all of these trials. You know, it's all the forerunners too. It's like we anchor the frequencies first, the downloads and all of this, you know, coming online. And again, you know, there are some that are very unique to us, but generally it's like you prepare the energies, you prepare the navigational tips, instruction sets. That's what people like me do and then share, you know, to make it easier for other people. And so many people have been sharing so much for free. That's also why people keep just taking for free and don't want to pay often or give something back in some way, shape or form because this whole consumerism of spirituality, you know, which I don't like. Um, because again, people are not fully invested. They're not fully online and they're not fully actually integrating of what I'm speaking about often and then would still blame me, for example, um, if they don't see any shifts. Uh, because the shift is first felt within and then out there. I keep seeing shifts throughout my whole journey. It doesn't always look like the way you want it, but you need to keep hanging in there. You need to keep persevering. You need to be very tenacious. You need to have a very strong will, power to make it all the way through, to push all the way through. This is not for the faint of heart. I don't know ever. Yeah, well, as I said, it's the, you know, the negative agenda came up with the concept that essential should be easy. Like, I mean, it's supposed to challenge everything, everything that you've ever been and your whole perception of reality and how all of this works. Transcend all of the programming and fully heal your multidimensional self and complete your multidimensional journey over many lifetimes, billions of years, ultimately. So yeah, this is massive. So remember this. Um, I again trained myself really to be grateful for when I go for especially through, especially when I go through very deep clearings and challenges, because I know they're ultimately helping me. These are initiations, although I'm not, you know, like saying, Yay, thank you, give me more. Not like that, but just like thank you, because it's exactly what I need, you know. So, and I just roll with all of this from one number moment to the next, the whole roller coaster of this thing. And it's all about mastery, you know? And us all healing as one, I truly believe we all fell as one, have broken apart as one, fragmented as one. And now we heal as one, reconcile as one. And again, energetically, it's all here. And now the physical follows. And that's all that's left. And we keep rocking this the way we've been shown. Again, from one number to the next, to just the path will be shown as you take those steps. That's how it's always been for me. And I've always been carried as you, but you need to trust that you are being carried. Again, what do you believe to be true? What do you believe to happen? Do you believe, you know, do you, do you right now let go of the past and believe, you know, can imagine the best possible outcomes? Or do you believe the past repeating itself? Like, I mean, it's just not even there anymore because it's been fully deleted as the crystalline core is coming fully online, all these distortions in the field are fully clearing uh, and we're fully tuned into the real truth and our ancient future, which is timeless and can be always accessed in the now moment from the zero point field of true divine love, union, neutrality and oneness. And that's where I collapse and co-create realities from. And again, each one of us is responsible for our own heaven upon the earth. And again, do the work and excavate the true self uh, by, you know, connecting with those traumas and wounds and any, you know, anything that comes up because it's really the quick way through. Otherwise, you're just delaying the whole process. 
Because right now, again, you need to resolve it all to be able to ascend. You need to just let go of the past. I mean, they're really like huge quantum leaps and jumps happening right now. You know, it's not taking long. Like time is an illusion. <laughs> it takes a shift in consciousness. Again, anyone who's had big jumps in consciousness shifts, I know it can be rough <laughs> and turbulent. But again, it's just a quick way through. And as long as you're very flexible and don't hold on to old belief systems, you're good. You just need to be the happy fool who's happy to be constantly like, oh, no, this is not so right anymore. Now I'm shifting my perspective to this, which doesn't really mean that what you used to believe in was all that distorted or false. You know, there's always truth in everything. And you're just here to collect all those pieces, you know, and everything you've ever learned and come across um, is serving you to complete the picture, the puzzle, for it all to make sense now. And again, it's quantum. Okay, so fully merge with your eternal quantum self, your true, real, raw self, okay? Unique self, there's only one of you here. Be that. Um, and tr real truth, knowledge, um, is what heals, it's what's real power, that's why they distorted the truth and inverted it on us and make us doubt ourselves and gaslight us until we no longer know who to trust, what to trust, even ourselves, our own knowing, you know, that's what has happened again over many lifetimes um, amongst many other, you know, crimes committed against the sanctity of life and a lot of stuff we've been through. So yeah, you need to feel it all to heal it all, literally. Um, don't get stuck there don't identify with it keep feeling it keep letting go keep asking god to heal you however that comes from a pure heart you just ask god you know especially in those moments when it's hardest and that's when you really connect to source truly and it's a daily you know like again like a prayer from the heart instead of something recited that's a lot more um effective So once we understand that this, this has been a war about service to self versus service to others and that service to all is the resolution to the conflict of and from within the one consciousness because we've all come from the one source, one cosmic family broken apart. Then we understand that bringing balance into giving and taking energy from one another is the key. The give and take. Because again, a few here have transmuted a whole lot of karma for everyone. And have been crucified for it on the way, especially by the ones who've loaded it onto us. You know, karma has been distorted. And this has been fully wiped. This is now full payout. You know, what we have seeded, we are now sowing, receiving back good and bad for each one and again each one is their own judge ultimately their own god self being fully merged with one way or another and again those who have you know digressed their own blueprints too much too much um are returning back to source so but it's not about you know for us to judge it's like frequency is taking care of it because by us anchoring the higher frequency, the higher consciousness, which is what this is, real truth, this is how we dissolve all of these false veils, false masks, false people, and ultimately evicting the invaders as we have strong boundaries, discernment, really, you know, again, the divine union is what completes it because the invaders only came in, any attachments, all of this, when your auric field becomes, you know, um, damaged, which has happened again, as soon as you're born onto this planet, you, you adapt these distortions in your blueprints, plus from many other lifetimes. I mean, there are many layers to all of this, but basically we're healing together as one. Okay. And as we heal, the planet heals and cosmically this blueprint that rehabilitates and heals all. So true connection, int intimacy, and law fields. This is why it's so important to come together and be connected to the right people that really have got us. Your tribe is your shield. You know, we're really here to connect with the people who really have our back. You know, where we all support one another the way we, you know, feel guided to, can, 
you know, but where it's like this nice balance between people. Uh, and it's built on transparency and authenticity, you know, and nobody being judged. Because as we can see one another for who we truly are, that's what heals. Our identic bodies and realities return, and as we embody our eternal authentic self. So this is all about us again. Having retrieved the original blueprints, the cosmic Christ, the, the cosmic Christ seed, Christ seed atom, having fully reset our blueprints, our hearts fully healing, the black heart affliction, all the fallen timelines, all of these distortions now are filled, overlays, inserts, implants, it's all completing. There are huge activations happening within the crystalline core. Again, the plasma light body coming fully online. Usana Teate. As this again, as the old goes offline, the new comes fully online, along with the uh, cosmic emerald and crystal diamond rose of that work. So it's so important to remember we are merging shadow and light because it's not just about us identifying with we are just the light and the shadow people, you know, the negative agenda people are over there. There's still aspects of us. If we are judging, condemning, still getting triggered emotionally by anything they do, we're still believing the movie, we're still believing the dream, we're still feeding those timelines, okay, unconsciously because we are not in full remembrance of what has really happened, which is we have been dreaming this all up as one, so we could merge shadow and light because our shadow again or negative ego self, it all has valuable aspects to it. You just need to know what to keep what to send back to source. You know, we're, again, we're expanding the blueprint, our consciousness, where we need these aspects. And when we do this, like separating into shadow and light, we're creating these chisms. And this is what creates the division within the tribes and ultimately in our own consciousness, in our own field, the fragmentation. Okay, it's fear, ultimately, whenever we drop into fear, which is separation, which is not truth, which is we, us dropping in frequency and consciousness and being separated from our God self and from real truth. And again, as we're fully connecting now with that, everything heals. Okay? So as we, again, come to true divine union within, the tribal shield heals. Again, our field, as the seventh within the cosmic monad, it happens for the tribal shield. So for the planetary field, the morphogenetic field. As this fully, fully heals and seals now, as the tribes come fully together, the original counterparts, Twin flames, the race, fully returned, the original sound and light fields of creation making up the true shield, magnetic field of the planet, the super magnetism of the mother fully returned, real density, so to say, <laughs> which again, density, um, one sec, let's say something to this in a sec, but it's basically returning the natural order and again, the super magnetism, the real magnetism of the earth. And um, the old one goes offline, which has kept us in this false density and locked in. And it's also connected to the firmament. And I'm going to leave a link below, like free links, like to the red wave spectrum, to the reptilian tail, which is a part of the implant that's been um, fully cleared collectively at the moment. And... You can see some more information as always just take what resonates leave the rest as well as another video i came across which is around um the theory of the universe being electric and you know density time and uh, space not being really real so there has some nice quotes in there um on many level levels and layers and again it's just um just always take what resonates and then just leave the rest so again, it's about merging shadow and light, the high and the lower self, masculine and feminine, meta, anti-meta, heart and mind, all of these principles, all of these polarities within the zero point field of divine love, mentality, oneness. Okay, where everything is being merged, all of the multidimensional aspects, and there are many aspects to you. And again, we needed also these codes from the, so to say, reptilian blueprint. Um in order to expand ours, the angelic human blueprint, okay, as I sometimes refer to as the 1% of psychopath, which means basically if we would go back, which we are kind of doing consciously, consciousness-wise, the quantum reality 
shifts the quantum reality or timeline mechanics that I spoke about. Because as we shift in the now and what we did wrong is basically now we can fight back. Ultimately, it's from our own consciousness of us just waking up. But it would be basically, if would, you know, if because we couldn't defend ourselves. So let's say now if somebody would come into your house, you know, I don't know, with a knife and you have a gun at home uh, and someone is trying to, I don't know, harm you or your children, you know, you would defend yourself and them. Um, for example, again, as all of the seals, none of that shit will even come up <laughs> in our imagination. It's a non-issue, but it's the both end. It's like, again, a chicken and the egg. It's like, as you resolve the core issues of why, again, we even dropped into fear, as we are fully clearing fear and the separation, the illusions, these false memories, we're going back in time and all of this fully clears, the memories. That's why we're waking up from the dream. And that's also what's healing our blueprint. Again, it's happening in many different ways, shapes and forms or many different perspectives you can look at this from. And these are just words we're using, trying to explain quantum perspectives with that are not linear by nature and as soon as we use words the message kind of gets a little bit lost so again it's more the frequency the energy i'm transmitting um because it's truly beyond words of you know what i'm receiving energetically and again it's for all of us like that and then we just try and transmit it in whichever way you know we are able to um but again it's the energy that transmits because many people speak you know, many good things, although you also need to really look out for the reversals, inversions. Uh, again, always be, you know, awake, aware. Um, don't just, you know, because you like someone, just, you know, no more idol worshipping, where we just sit there and just take anything in, eat it all up, uh, and don't use our own discernment and our own mind. That's the whole issue here. That's how we fell asleep behind the steering wheel. I mean, many layers to it again. Lies, manipulation, conquer division. I mean, you know, I mean, the opposition, that, that's literally their job. That's how they operate, you know, to see it and so forth. That's why it's so important for us again. You take those codes that are relevant for us to strengthen our blueprint, as well as, you know, it's very important to have to be in alignment with the morals ethics and virtues that we know are aligned with truth in every now moment and again it's not about just constantly being in a civic state uh, but also being real and again it's nothing wrong with getting angry because usually anger or any negative emotion if anything comes up usually shows you where there's something off that's why they are important to follow because it helps you to heal readjust realign your whole reality, aka your blueprint, your consciousness, your reality, you know, all of this is this. So as we shift from deep within, our reality shifts for us. As we shift the way we look at things and people, they shift. Everything shifts for us, okay? It's all projected out from within us. We're projecting one another out. There's only one of us here. Let's keep reminding this, reminding ourselves of this. And again, as you fully correct all that went wrong, the inversions, reversals within one consciousness, our blueprints, again, energetically as well, the Kundalini, Kundalini grounds, uh, connecting us back to uh, first eternal source creation, to the Godhead, uh, running through our systems now properly. So we are properly facing real reality and all the fallen timelines can fully clear from the field already, along with the false firmament, all these false overlays, inserts, implants, and they literally disappear, never come up again. Yay, cheers to this. And again, as I've shared, all originated, as I've been shown, within and as part of the fall of the royal families, it's envy, competition, jealousy. It's, again, it's this fragmentation. Uh, between the tribes, the original tribes, the royal families, and the masculine and feminine principles. And then they were, you know, further inverted on us and played upon by us again. It's it's what the opposition does, you know, beings do, whether consciously or unconsciously, to play on your weaknesses and, you know, traumas and wounds and all of that stuff. 
And on the positive side, the true tribe and beloved, they really help you heal. And you need to know the difference. And uh, we learn through experience. And so we did. So now that we know better, we get to start all over again. All right. And we are remembering who the fuck we are. We're going to wear that halo, so to say, that crystal crown. Proudly, you know, we are humble. We are real. It's not about being, you know, just kind of false perfect. But you also need to own, you know, your royal uh, embodiment of your true divine blueprint of the Christ. You know what I mean? And again, no longer ever let anyone um, take you away from your truth and your real path and your destiny. Um, and put a wedge between you and your beloved, your tribes, that's what we're healing. You know, where we know who we can really trust, who is really who we're really remembering as we go in. Because ultimately, you know, a lot of the forgetfulness, besides, you know, our memories having been wiped aggressively for many lifetimes, it's also that we kind of wanted to forget. Parts of the one consciousness wanted to forget the traumas. And I think we can all relate to that. Sometimes you just want to be, you know, just done with it, so to say. So, but we are here now. Trust us. That's what I see. Okay. The love, last um, moments in this prison matrix are here. Um, yeah. Let's see how this all unfolds. It's It's going to be powerful. So, be ready. Beyond ready at this point. I think we are. All of us, it's like, seriously, are we still sitting here? Uh, as well as I'm not even asking myself anymore why we're not there yet. I'm literally just, just in this now moment, just kind of relaxing from one now moment to the next, trying to relax as much as possible. Again, today was very intense. Um, because again, all these fear energies, the static is fully clearing from the field and we're all connected to the collective field, especially those who are doing a lot of transmutational work. That's why I do so much energy work to clear it and make it better. <laughs> because we can all feel it that's the oneness so it's you know it's done when it's done i feel we're basically totally fully here now at the finish line fully and remember um what i said about also your support system you know as your tribe as we come together as a support system the false systems are falling apart right now and again it's us healing the chisms the break you know the division um and it's also for us to remember you know as we come together again us in our god sovereign free self we are mighty powerful as we come together you know we, we multiply our power by many so that's where we really become stronger and again the opposition knows this but that's what they did to divide and conquer because that's the only way they could even get to us is through, through divide and conquer but again only if we let them and don't see through the bullshit could it ever get to that so we can't blame them as such, or we just stop now. Yeah, they're, they're getting their comeuppance anyway. It's not our business, so to say, as well as we need to bring justice and order into every now moment, you know, into our reality. But you get me. Generally, it's not about us judging whoever out there, you know. So, but it's all about us, you know. Ultimately, we're always judging ourselves for even allowing this at a deep level. You know, that's what we're ultimately often angry with. So we need to feel both sides, <laughs> being angry at those parties, you know, again, any past life trauma that might be triggered with whatever's going on in our lives will and needs to come up now to complete all of this, to fully heal the heart and all of these betrayals and traumas, okay, from the invasions to fully return to the beginning before they ever happened. So let's do this as one. Again, join me for the activation if you like to, live or for the replay. Um, so we do a Zoom call and an activation. Usually they take around three hours. Um, sometimes more. It really depends on the energy. It's probably a bit more. And um, we'll probably do the activation around the time of when the eclipse goes is at its fullest. And but we start a call before then, yeah. So around just after 7 p.m. UK time on Saturday, the 28th. Um, again, the details are in the description box, and you get two 
free activations with that, return to the real, which was part again of the last group call, um, the light language activation and the cosmic heart healing and ignition, which will help with the preparation, but you don't need to do them now in a few days, you know. Um, I'd say the ones who are taking part may have already picked up on those activations or at least one of them. So we've been completing basically the big heart healing, especially this last week from all of this invasion, all the spiritual warfare, all the division, you know, all the heartache between the beloveds, um, them coming to full true divine union within, fully sovereign, fully free, fully letting go of any attachments, um, you know, so we can end the suffering already. And again, we really fully align with all that we truly deserve. Let go of everything that's not. Let go of the past fully right now to fully jump all in into all new beginnings. Stay here now. Okay. So let's be those rainbow bridges, consciousness bridges, lighthouses. Uh, remember, we are the guardians of all new free worlds and we came here to literally bring us all the way home. All right. So. So to clear all inverted fallen blueprints, you need to align with your real true self, real truth, and actually live it. You know, doing it, not just speaking about it. That's so important. And again, it can be very easy now because it's only the false ego that would prevent you from doing so and any false fears that are not really real to begin with, okay? So now we make dreams become real and fully alive, fully visible, the invisible visible, impossible possible. As we become the master of the dream, let's make the magic happen. Remember the butterfly effect. We all affect one another. And whatever we do, say, think, feel, affects so much, especially as you remember your true mission, destiny. Again, it's really all about the inner work and just shifting, you know, being the embodiment of your true self, mostly. And it has many expressions. There is not one way of how that should look like, Okay. So you remember who you truly are. Or oh, just one more comment. Emails. Sorry, I still need to catch up on all of this. Okay. Um, again, I'm way behind. I really had to take some a breather. Okay. And I'm generally bad with them anyway. Uh, I won't get back to all of them. And I'm sorry. Never feel this is never personal. It's literally potluck. Ultimately, what I reply to are not like, you know, on general requests. Um comments also you know it's not that they're not important it's just that i just don't have the bandwidth i don't have the energy to reply to everything because it's just energetically draining replying to loads of emails and comments it's just i can't do it my energy would be all over the place because i used to do that and i just can't do it anymore um the same with private sessions i don't offer any i have some still outstanding for my private membership container and i will catch up on them now yeah along with the emails okay one way or another um, again, campfire preferably at this point generally. So the end of separation is here now. We all bring this online from deep within as you transcend all of these illusions. Okay. Every trigger is a gift. Remember every clearing also. Now we can focus more on the upgrades and activations of the light body that can feel like clearings. It's kind of the both ends at the same time. But you know, your your body shifting to a liquid plasma light that hurts a little okay and all of this clearing all of the holographic overlays and inserts and implants so remember fear is the real virus here keep transcending it keep connecting with your true self that sees reality for what it really is with true crystal clarity okay that's the crystalline consciousness the christ embodied that's what that really means that's your royal self fully online okay so quantum merge and leap into that version of you, fully healed, fully ascended, here now, always, eternally. You need to align with that consciousness. And yeah, hearts are about to burst wide open. The tsunami is here, the divine love and truth tsunami, revealing everything. So having a quick look if I forgot anything. Oh yeah, just one more comment i think two videos back i said something about clear conscience you know being able to sleep at night because we have a clear conscience now i'm not saying that um you know if you have sleep problems that you don't have a clear conscience or whatever what i meant is that it's more 
in a line um, along the lines of a clear consciousness is very much in connection with holding a high frequency. You know, clear conscience, consciousness, holding a high frequency, which is that of authenticity. So you're basically true to yourself because, again, we are ultimately here healing self-betrayal. This is what all of this comes back to, okay? Only then can other people betray us. Let's remember, it all comes back to the self. That, that's where you gain true confidence that this will not happen again because we learned our lessons, okay? But again, only if you really know thyself and then you know all kinds of cosmic shit, okay? And can see through all of the cosmic bullshit also. So, again, and high frequency is synonymous with authenticity, okay? Being the truth, walking the truth speaking, thinking, feeling, embodying the truth, okay? So nobody can tell you what that is. Your connection to source is what gets you there. Um, it has to be felt, it has to be experienced, but it's coming online for us all now, okay? True crystal clarity, true remembering, the cosmic history records been fully reclaimed, or it's it's already reclaimed, it's, it's already been seeded, and now it's just been fully lit up. It, Again, along with everything else I mentioned. So thank you so much. So many blessings. Again, check out the details below if you feel guided to for the activation or anything else. Uh, also to support me if you like to and the links that I mentioned for more information, more keys and codes. Yeah, so I'll see you. Uh, so much love, so many blessings. Keep on cruising these cosmic waves of love, of truth, the best you can, okay? And remember, all you need to know is truly inside of you. Connect to your highest version of self, your God self, okay? Everything unified from inside of you and one with everything. Now online and available in the physical body, so to say, which though can shapeshift, teleport, bilocate, fly, levitate, manifest out of thin air. Okay, it's all here now. I know I don't need to worry about nothing. I said this already. I've been shown. My home will be delivered to me. And 3D reality keeps showing me anyway. <laughs> like, ah. So, you know. Uh, but I'm also not a person that just usually just sits there and waits. But yeah, a lot about this, as I said in my last video, is about just surrendering to receive right now. For those of us who've done the hard work and know that this is basically done. And it's all here now because it is. And we're just letting the veils fully dissolve in front of our very own eyes as we see through them. So let's be this. Let's do this. Let's keep the make. Let's keep making the magic happen. Remember, we are God's boots on the ground. Okay. So, so much love, so many blessings. Keep your feet on the ground, especially Gaia, the beautiful grass. Um, if the weather allows, and yeah, let's bring um eternal summer back in paradise. Okay. I'm not a big fan of winter and cold temperatures. I love that mug, so to say. Um, all right. So back to Eden, back to paradise. Only heaven upon the earth, plus my body, fully igniting. Within and without. Let's do this. Usanate, enash, kush, 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 ka, aitamata, Thank you, thank you, thank you. So much love, so many blessings. Bye bye.